The Q presents On the Ground. And we're on the ground at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley with the Association for Corporate Growth, or ACG. Tonight is ACG's 12th annual Grow Awards, and we're fortunate to be joined by one of the sponsors, Ericsson. Joining me is the VP Development, Prince Coley. Prince, welcome. Thank you. So we're excited to talk to Ericsson. Tell us about Ericsson's involvement with ACG. What makes it compelling, uh, a compelling organization for Ericsson to be involved in? Ericsson is a 140-year-old company. We are in 120 countries, 180 customers. Wherever we are, we are not just a global company, we like to be local as well, very involved with the local ecosystem. Uh, ACG gives us a great opportunity to be, to, uh, to talk to the local leaders and network and create business relationships, uh, which I really like. Excellent. So, in terms of your history and expertise managing companies from startups and transforming them, we're here to honor some some extremely uh, fast-growing companies. Talk to us about some of the cultural diversity in high-tech and innovation that you've experienced in your past, like from Citrix, and now being with a Swedish company, Ericsson. So in my experience, I have found that actually there are more similarities between Ericsson and Silicon Valley than differences. For example, we love to be number one. Uh, you know, we hate to lose. Uh, the value of being smart, hard work, great planning, uh, it's key to what we do. And finally, um, and most importantly to me, change is just a part of what we do. Uh, you know, we are a 140 year old successful company, and you can't do that without accepting change. Absolutely, that's a hard thing to do, accepting change. Great message. As we uh, give Prince the last word here, talk to us about what's next for er Ericsson in terms of competition, competing, and growing in your industry. What's next? Um, so, uh, Ericsson uh, has always put a lot of effort in technology and uh, quality. So we have a lot of goodwill from our customers. Uh, and uh, what has happened to our customers, to telcos, is that they are transforming very quickly. Uh, they are having to go from physical devices and proprietary hardware to cloud, to virtualization, uh, to concepts like SDN, NFE, all these TLAs. And what Ericsson is doing, it is transforming itself to support that. We have become a DevOps company, very software-oriented DevOps company that allows us to match the pace of our customers and set the pace for the industry. Excellent, I love that. Setting the pace for the industry in an industry of such opportunity. Prince, thank you so much for joining us on theCUBE tonight. We hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. And with that said, thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, and we'll see you next time.